Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of hexagon logo with the P and letter. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and taking new artboard, 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel giving the name P logo design and hit the tick button and you are getting the blank artboard. After that going to the line segment tool from here. Press the shift and hold it and draw line. The stroke thickness 1 pt is good. And then we'll make a couple of copies by pressing alter option button and press Ctrl or Command D. Twelve line we'll make over there, making it bigger, making it group, and placing it in the middle. After that, select this line group right press transform and rotate from the rotation give here 90 degree and make it copy after that going to the polygon tool and drawing a polygon which is the hexagon and hit ok and after that just select it and rotate this one now i'll make it bigger according to this this so in this technique uh, i'll make it in a middle and then this side that means two side i'll adjust with the line of the square shape which will make that okay press ctrl c and ctrl f and making it smaller according to this line ctrl c and ctrl f making it to smaller according to this square shape ctrl c ctrl f making it smaller like this Ctrl C and Ctrl F making it smaller like this. Ctrl C and Ctrl F making it smaller like the smallest square shape. So make sure the line is uh, properly joined with each other, otherwise, you won't get the proper um, like uh, things or proper segment of this. Just join with each other okay after joining that uh, you should check and recheck your shapes which is really just join with the proper way okay that's fine now selecting all the stuffs from here press shift m for the shape builders tool making the shape builders and just select once and we'll make the p at first so drawing the line like this okay and making the p shape actually according to this in this portion the corners are very sensitive to join with each other if you left any corner your design won't be fulfilled according to your desire okay we got this and after that we'll delete all the lines at a time going to the quick selection tool this one is a magic one tool actually and select once in a line and delete all the stuffs that means all the lines at a time okay now selecting these things we have some uh, like uh, logos like the gradient we'll take the gradient from here this one is free i'll provide you the download link in my video description i from the color picker for the color picker and select once g from the keyboard and adjust the line color according to this so you can put it in any kind of background if you want you can take a background like this black color we'll make it black like this or choose the black from the color palette yeah that's fine and all the stuff select making it in the middle you can put name taking the name which is uh, the font name is 
like this making this one bigger and giving the white color the p logo we should take the another font like nexa that's good making this in the middle or you should find out Evnir Evnir black or Evnir bold I think Evnir regular is good or exo I think exo is good create outline or you can make this one this into light that's fine making them alignment making it group into middle of the artboard that's fine you are getting perfect logo easily or you can rearrange this one like that suppose i want to make it smaller like that and you can make it like that all caps make this one going to the characters making this one all caps you can perfectly match with that so this one is totally up to you how will be your logo sometimes you should maintain the proper way how it look likes and right press and you can make it like round like that so you can select all the corners you can make it a little bit round you can do that so this one is really cool if you want to make your logo more creative so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on the video comment section until the next video i may say when signing out stay safe stay at home bye bye